everyone, this is Rachel from Sweet Bee Paper Co. I am here with day, we're doing day 13 today for Defember Ember. This challenge is hosted by 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Hensel here on YouTube. I will link their channels below as well as the playlist for all of my other Defember Ember videos. So let's get going. I've had this kind of planned out. All of my fingers look a little weird. I coffee dyed paper today. I have these available as digitals in my Etsy. They're a dark reddish brown. They're absolutely beautiful and I'm using this page today since I ripped it a little bit on this side. I'm going to use a piece of this for the belly band. So let's get started. Let me show you what I'm planning on doing. Oh, so this is from a country living from a few years ago. I got this. So what I'm going to use from this is recipe and favorites. Let me get those cut out. There's a lot of really pretty pictures of food in here too that I may use if I need. Got my little nutcracker friend. Isn't he cute? I like, I don't know if you can see, but I like his little teeth. So as far as the width of it, I mainly just want it to be as wide as the recipe word. So this is gonna be the a belly band for my recipe page for my Christmas journal. So I've got this little folder made with a few little recipes in there. So this is gonna be a vertical belly band for that. So let's cut this out. Let me check the height of it. I've got some labels and some little things to put on the belly band too. And I'll need to trim off like just a little bit. Okay, that looks good for height. That's actually going to go on this plaid paper. I'll cut that down. Ooh, I love it. So I made this little jar out of a paper pack from Joanne Fabrics. It's got like little Christmassy desserts in it. It's really cute. All of the tags that are on the recipes in this are those, are from that paper. They're really cute. We could do, I also have these little sheets that came with the order of stamps. They were like little freebies and they have these recipes on them. The papers aren't vintage, but it's like from a vintage magazine. Ooh, a holiday snow cake. That kind of matches this. That looks so cute, doesn't it? I think, I think I'm going with that. I don't want to do anything extra to it. <laughs> because I just kind of like it like that. So I am going to sew, but I want to get everything obviously glued down. And then we'll look at adding anything else to it. I love this little holiday snow cake. That is so cute. I really was thinking about having to do something elaborate and I love this. Okay, let me go get this sewed and I'll be right back. Here it is, isn't it cute? Oh, let me trim the strings only. I'm gonna be careful if you watched my <laughs> December daily the other day, I clipped through the card and had to tape it. Oh, that's so cute. I am using walnut stain. 
Ooh, walnut stain looks pretty on this. I love it. So I'm not going to sew it in the page yet. I'm actually going to record that for my December daily video. So if you want to see it put in the book and finished up on the page, check out my December daily video for day 13. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.